I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you an excellent question from previous test paper on percent change application. A 20 centimeter pencil is in the shape of a cylinder. When it is sharpened, the tip is a cone with height of 4 cm. Find the percentage reduction in the volume of the pencil after sharpening. Four choices are given to you. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So basically, we have a pencil here with a cone, right? so kind of like this. This is cylindrical part. And what we are given in this case is that the total height of this pencil is 20. Out of this, this portion is 4. And we need to find change in volume. So basically, as you can see here, there is a reduction. So one third remains, two third is lost. So you have to find this. That is the change. And percent change means over the whole volume. Do you understand? This change over the whole volume and then multiply by 100. So I hope the strategy is very clear to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. These are the four choices, which are very close, right? So 10, 13, 16, 20, uh, reading from D to A. So you need to calculate the answer, perfect, okay. Now, what is the original volume? Let's write down. It is a cylinder, so it is pi r square h. So in this case, R doesn't really make a difference. Height is 20. So we can write this as 20 pi R square. Perfect. Now what is the change, the final volume? So final volume in this case will be, up to this point, it remains a cylinder. So we can write this as 16 pi R square, since this height is 16, correct? For this height of 4, it is not 4 pi r square, but it is one third of that, right? So plus, instead of 4 pi r square, we have one third of this. Since you know that volume of a cone is one third volume of cylinder correct so that portion on the top the volume is only one third correct now pi r squares will all cancel so you need not even consider them so the change in volume is what we need to figure out let's work it out so change in volume I should write percent change, I'll multiply by 100. So, uh, we can write final, which is 16 plus 4 over 3. Pi r squared is common, right? Let me write like this. My, uh, okay, pi r squared, okay. Minus the original 20 pi r squared. You need not write pi r squared when you're doing this question divided by 20 pi r square. All pi r squares will cancel. Correct? We have to multiply this by 100 to get the percent change. Simple as that, correct? So, so that gives you the solution. So some of you, where the calculator is allowed, they can use the calculator, correct? Obviously, we are getting negative answer. This is bigger. So change is negative. It is decreasing. So, so what we can do is we can do 16 plus 4 divided by 3, which is equal to, and we'll take away from this 20, and then we'll divide this by 20, multiply by 100, 
to get our answer. In decimals, it is 13.33. Perfect. So we do get an answer. Now for some of you, the calculator will not be allowed. Correct? Okay? So for some of you, calculator is not allowed. So for them, how do we solve this question? Okay? So without calculator also, this calculation is not very difficult. You can very clearly see that this could be cancelled with 100 five times. Five is like 10 over 2. Do you understand? Five times. And here, you have to take away from 20, 16, you get 4, right? And then from 4, you have to take 4 over 3. So, so you can do a very easy calculation here. So think about it like this. You know this is negative, right? Because this number is bigger. So you have to do 20 minus 16, right? And then you have to take away 4 over 3. And then you have to multiply by 5. So that is what you're trying to do. Or 10 by 2, right? Now here, this is 4, right? So this is 4. You could take this as 4 minus 4 over 3. Since common denominator, you could times 5, right? Let me write times 5 here. Let's go this side. So we have 3 and 12 minus 4 times 5 so 8 over 3 times 5 so 40 divided by 3 do you see that 40 divided by 3 which gives you 13 as approximate answer correct so without calculator also it is a very simple calculation perfect so it is not that bad I hope the standard method which I've shown here works perfectly fine to solve such a question feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best